ladies and gentlemen, the bride. May I request everybody to please stand. Sweet a smile for me. Were you not mine, how dark the world would be. I know no light above that could replace love's rage and sunshine. In your dear, dear face, give me your smile, the love light in your eyes, life could not hold a fairer paradise. Light in your eyes. 
Shall we pray? Father, we have assembled here to witness the union in marriage of this man and woman whom thou hast brought together in love and who have come to seal their attachment for each other by taking the vows of matrimony. Breathe thy sweet love and grace upon their hearts and let thy presence be felt in this wedding service. As thou didst come to the marriage in Cana long ago, and by the word of power turn the water into wine, come into this holy place, we pray, and resolve these two hearts into one. As thy church on earth is knit to thy heart in love and life, so let this woman be bound to this man. And as thou art knit to the heart of thy church, so let this man be bound by the ties of love and affection to this woman. Grant this, we pray, O God, and give to all of us who are present a proper sense of our duties and privileges in the marriage relation and in our union with Thee as Lord and Savior. <clears throat> we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.
Please take your seats. gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to unite these two lives through the ordinance of holy wedlock. This union is to form a nucleus of a new home which God intends shall be a miniature heaven on earth. Holy matrimony is one of the greatest blessings of God to men. The Creator himself ordained the wedding service, and it was God who gave Eve to Adam. The marriage institution comes to man with sweet fragrance of the Garden of Eden and has remained with him as a heaven-ordained institution throughout all ages. Since man has been upon the earth, he has sought happiness into this holy relationship. And happiness has always resulted when the wedded state was entered into an understanding of these privileges and responsibilities and knowledge of the purposes of God. Our Father in heaven desires that every home should be a happy home. For this reason, it is most essential that you who present yourselves here today agree concerning your attitudes toward God. Hearts must be happy in one faith if the rips of discord are to be avoided. There must be unity into your hearts concerning God's plan for your lives if you would avoid a rift in your affections. At the wedding at Cana of Galilee, the joy of the bridal couple was complete, was not complete until the Lord Jesus came with his rich blessing, which none other could provide, to begin and close the day with prayer. And as your love for him increases, your love for each other will grow deeper and stronger. So let the living God be your God, and let his word be the guide of your home life. Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So all men to love their wives as their own bodies, he that... And yet you are entering a school from which you are never in this life to be graduated. 
It will call for patience and kindness. Do not try to compel each other to do as you wish. You cannot do this and retain each other's love. Be kind in speech and gentle in action. Watch well your words. Allow no sharpness to come into your voice. Be kind, patient, forbearing. Keep in mind that the words of kindness, looks of sympathy, expressions of appreciation will be constant tokens of your mutual affection. Love lightens the burden of the soul, eases the mind, lifts the heavy load, and smooths the road. It is because of genuine love for each other that a man and woman feel impelled to link their lives together and to found a new home. But remember, love is a tender plant that will not grow without nourishment and care. It may die unless carefully nurtured and guarded. Being of love. In the marriage relationship founded on mutual love and respect, neither should try to dominate the other. Neither husband nor wife is to make a flea for rulership. The husband is to cherish his wife as Christ cherished the church. And the wife is to respect and love her husband. Marriage is intended to to wield two hearts into eternal bonds. Nothing is to be permitted to come between the two of you. When you are married, you take a vow that your companion will be the nearest, the dearest, and the best person to all of you. Marriage is walking to life with each other, sharing sorrow and happiness, disappointment and hope, toil and sweet rest. So, as you take Christ as your guide, and patient in tribulation, constant in prayer, and manifest true love and respect for one another, your home will become a little kingdom where the husband is the king, the, the wife will be the queen, and God is over all. With this admonition, hung and net, based on God's holy word, I call upon you, present, to remember that marriage is commended to us by the Apostle Paul as worthy of all honor. It's party to this solemn covenant being required of God to keep and violate its secret obligation as long as both shall live, should assume the responsibilities of marriage reverently, soberly, and discreetly in the fear of God, duly considering that marriage was divinely ordained for mutual help and comfort both in prosperity and in adversity. This is the grandest day of Hank and Nanita. But today would be, this affair would be meaningless without the principal sponsors to stand and witness as they exchange vows together. 
So may I request the following principal sponsors to please stand as your name will be call, uh, called. May I read first the gentleman sponsors. Mr. Malakias Fernal, Mayor Joel Lachica, Mr. James Rome, Tayas Maunis, Mr. Maximo Monterde, Mr. Zacarias Villarente, Mr. Rogelio Asenio, Asenia, Mr. Eliezer Velasco Senior, Mr. Crisanto Galeawan, Mr. Elias Arante, Mr. Ezekiel Agonias, Mr. Mervyn Joyce, Mr. Hihinio Prieto, Priete, Mr. Ruben Salvani, Mr. Nicodemo Labajo, Mr. Eli Pavillar, Mr. James Abiliano Senior, Mr. Limuel Tagolgol, and last but not the least, Victor Silao. Is there anybody among the principal sponsors on the gentleman's side whose name has not been called? Thank you. To the ladies, Mrs. Feli Anke, Mrs. Neneta Andrada, Mrs. Pasita Villaver, Mrs. Betsabi Cabalona, Mrs. Rose Dilaray, Ms. Rose Gorme, Ms. Willian Mariano, Mrs. Noneta Pingoy, Mrs. Cesaria Estrada, Mrs. Crescencia Bahin, Mrs. Estrella Credo, Mrs. Priscilla Bunalos, Mrs. Perpetua Bughau, Mrs. Nineta Bo, Mrs. Leonisa Caspe, Mrs. Ethlinda Quinones, Mrs. Adelina Acain, Mrs. Simeona Franco, Mrs. Natividad Sanz, Mrs. Flor de Liza Macalia, Mrs. Aurora Inte, Mrs. Purificacion Garcia, and last but not the least, Mrs. Dominga Hill. Is there anybody among the ladies' side of the principal sponsors whose name has that been called? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is fitting and proper to have something to promise for to a very special one, especially to Hank and Neneta. For as much as you, Hank in gold and Neneta, Capitan, have come to join together in holy bonds of wedlock, you may now signify yourselves or your desire to be so united by joining your hands together. Huh? Do you take this woman, Nenita, to be your wedded wife? Do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, cherish her in sickness and in health, in prosperity or in adversity, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her so long as both of you shall live? I do. Thank you. For you, Ninita. Do you take this man, Hung, to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish Hug in sickness and in health, in prosperity or in adversity, 
forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live. Thank you. Since you have before these witnesses solemnly made mutual pledges of affection and vows of fidelity, we, as ministers of the gospel, being duly authorized by the laws of the land, do hereby pronounce before these witnesses. May I request both of you to please join your right hands together. We, as ministers of the gospel, duly authorized by the law of the Philippines, now pronounce you as now husband and wife. What therefore hath God joined together, let not man put asunder. May I request Hank and Anita to please join as ministers to please kneel as we pray. While the congregation, we also request you to please bow your heads and say the prayers with us in your, uh, in your um, silence. We also request the principal sponsors to please, please be seated. Thank you. Shall we pray? Gracious Heavenly Father, we have just joined Hank and Anita into one and holy wedlock. Henceforth they be one in life's goal, both in spiritual, material, and in many aspects related to their new home. Grant us, O Lord, as we pray that this new home of Hank and Anita may always be a blessing to them in terms of exercise, love, and unity that makes their place a little heaven. May the Holy Spirit rest in each of their heart so that in all of their activities will always be for the welfare of good relation, for each, each of them may be fit for that heavenly home. As ministers ordained to the gospel ministry, we raise our hands before them so as to request for thine spirit of guidance, of love, of sympathy, and tenderness. The Lord of peace himself sanctify you holy, and may your soul, spirit, and body be preserved entirely without blame or wrinkles at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. This we pray in dear Jesus' name. Amen. Close. 
you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen. May I now request two of the gentleman sponsors to please stand by the side of Hank in witness of the signing of their contract. Mr. Malakias Fernal and Mayor Joel Lacheca. To the ladies sponsors, Mrs. Feli Angke and Mrs. Neneta Andrada. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to you our new wed couple, Mr. and Mrs. Henry Willard Ingold. Shall we give them our hands? The groom, the groom can now kiss the bride. The couple alone. We support to their happiness today. 
So as we join together on uh, feasting these preparations before us, we just like to pray for their blessings that this food may represent their bounty as they live together in Holy Wedlock. And that from this day on, they may have the spirit of unity and love of that gathering up in heaven. We will be feasting with you in that sister stage of eternity. Grant us and blessings as we partake of these things. For this we ask in your Jesus' name. Amen.